Welcome back, everyone. Massive crowds subjecting themselves to single-digit temperatures here in a moonlit Vail, Colorado, for the session presented by the Honda Element. Still looking back at the rail aspect of the session, and it was the Expo Rail. Riders definitely starting to warm up. And Rob Bach. Conquering this rail with the nose press. So simple and clean. And keeping the women's side proud, Elisa Mokler. Elisa showing the Bell Colorado crowd her power and poise as she slides the rail. And then Brent Meyer, we saw him a little bit earlier, keeping it simple with the board slides. But on the women's side, taking a hard fall, it was Marnie Yamada. Oh, and you can hear the crowd yelling for her. Going from Sonoma Metal is a tricky thing to do, and it's easy to slip off, just like she did, and she crashes into the other side of that swing set looking rail. Unfortunately for Marnie, after inspection with the ski patrol, she would have to step out of the competition. But Max Hanault started throwing down a litany of variations on the expo. Max Hanault stayed on the expo rail the whole time. Basically, he pretty much dominated the rail the whole hour and a half, two hour session. Mixing it up with 180s on, 180s off, 360s on, you name it, Max was doing it. So an hour and a half into the competition, Max Hanault sitting on top and talking to Max, he sounded confident. I know there's a lot of good rider here, so anytime someone can throw a big trick and uh, can bite me or something. But I'm pretty confident because my trick was pretty good, but I know everybody here can do uh, better or just the same, you know, so. So if Max had a litany of variations over on the stair section at the same time, Chad Ottersham was racking up, I don't know what you call it, a bountiful bevy of variations. It was just, it was unbelievable. Well, check this out. All he was doing here was uh, pretty much every trick that you could do on a rail. Board slides, gaps, tail presses. You name it, he was doing it, and he was basically securing that first place spot that he wanted. And according to Doran Laborn, Otterstrom is unbeatable. Chad, he's really good, man. He's probably going to take it, so I don't even know what could take him out. Well, if anyone could, it was the riders that were focusing on the stair section, one of them being James Beach. Coming from Canada, James Beach really stepped it up. And from the inner city of Denver, Colorado, the often emulated Mark Frank Montoya. Mark Frank Montoya dropping into that switch to 180, 180 off. And here's another guy, James Beach, both of these guys chasing down Chad Otterstrom for that so desirable first place. And they were so relentless. It seemed back-to-back -back variations. Each rider taking falls, but getting right back up. But TJ Schneider definitely taking a hard fall. Confidence. Once beaming with confidence. Yeah, dude. Now I'm rooted with doubt. And he would build on that doubt to come back. Conquering this 45-foot staircase and impressing all of those who saw. Midway through, Chad Otterstrom is still in the lead. But there was another rail to be reckoned with. That up, flat down, flat down rail is uh, something I have never seen before, not even in a video game, so I'm just going to leave it be. But early on, on the step down, Sean White dominating from the get-go. Sean started out on this kink trail and he seemed to make that his home for the rest of the evening. Matt Peterson, we saw him earlier crash, coming now onto that switch to board slide. And Travis Rice, very comfortable, very early on. Travis, not really having any problems with that step down, step down. Coming off a bit early, but the crowd seems to like it. And on the women's side, it was Jenny Jones. Jenny, 50 50 the entire kink trail, absorbing all the kinks, enjoying herself along with everyone else. I think me and Lugier here are just going to have some fun, whatever, it doesn't really matter. I just, just want to wake, walk away from tonight. Lugier is destroying. Have you seen him? Not just with the rail, but like the hummus outfit, like come on. I mean they told me that this was going to be a contest about style, so I thought I should better my chances and wear an all hummus outfit. I don't know, it doesn't seem to be working though. We'll see. Well, it's funny, you can hear a uh, special guest on-site MC Todd Richards kind of gurning him all night, but he came back and just conquered it. For more than halfway through the kink rail part of the contest, Sean White leading the charge. 
Just steps away from our contest is the Honda Element Base Camp. Let's meet Tom Payton from Honda to tell us some more. The session was perfect for Honda Element just out 30 days ago. It's a uh, high lifestyle vehicle. Uh, it's perfect for guys that snowboard, surf, etc. Uh, we uh, we saw there was a niche in the market for uh, people with active lifestyles, or uh, we wanted to capitalize on some of the youth movement. We came up with a base camp theme to work with a number of snowboard events we're going to be at, where it gives a variety of tents that are around me here. Uh, each has their own activity going on in each igloo, so to speak. Again, Honda is uh, honored to be part of the uh, inaugural event to the sessions. We think it's, again, perfect fit for our product, but it just a terrific and first-class event to be part of. When we return, we'll finish things up on the rail and see who is going to walk away with the cash. Well, we, we had an amazing road trip. It was incredible. There's nothing better than getting the guys together and hanging out for the weekend. We got a little lost on the way. Um, Eric had the map. Once again, you're pointing here. He's pointing over the 247. 247, thank you. We have a mountain bike that did a little <laughs> rock climbing. We met some friends out there, some girls. And somebody came in acting like an idiot. It could have been done at a different time, but uh, I got back at him. You can't beat a road trip like that, and I'd go again any day. The new Honda Element. Go with it. Honey, I've got the black teddy on. Yeah, OK. And I put the satin sheets on the bed. Yeah, yeah, be up in a minute. I've got cold Bud Light. Ow. Honey? For the great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down. Oh. Steve? Debbie? Make it a Bud Light. <laughs>